So let's take a look and balance this equation. We have NO2 plus H2. We end up with NH3 plus H2O. First, we count the atoms up. One nitrogen, two oxygens, and then just two hydrogens. Over here, one nitrogen. Oxygens, we have just the one, but hydrogens, three plus two. Five of those. We're going to leave the hydrogens till last because it's just hydrogen by itself here. When we change this, the coefficient, it won't change nitrogens or oxygens. So leave that till last. Nitrogens are balanced. Oxygens, we'll put a two right here. And now we can see that we have one times two, two of those. We need to update the hydrogens though. And we have the three plus two times two is four. So we have seven of those. And that's kind of annoying because we're almost done, but we have two and seven. So how do we deal with that? Probably the easiest way is let's get this to be seven. We can multiply this by something that'll give us seven. So if we multiply by seven over two, that would be two times seven is 14 divided by two. You end up with seven and that would balance the equation. So let's just put seven over two as our coefficient here and we're done. This equation, it's balanced. If you don't like having these fractional coefficients, you could just double everything. So you'd end up with two, seven, two, four as your coefficients. And these are the correct coefficients as well. Either set of coefficients works. We're really looking at the ratio. That's what's important in chemistry. But that's how you balance NO2 plus H2 yields NH3 plus H2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.